Frankie, thanks for joining us uh, here at Wraith TV. Um, you've signed on for the new season, but first up, let's talk about your, your recent injury and operation. How did the operation go and how's the rehab going? Yeah, the operation was uh, successful. The uh, surgeon was very pleased with, with how it went. Um, I'm about a month into my rehab now. Uh, I've just started. I've been in the gym the last two, three weeks, and um, the, the progression seems to be seems to be going well. Um, the physios and the sports scientists are pleased with my progression at the minute. Um, I've got another consultation in a week's time, so hopefully I'll get a bit more information then how the the surgeon feels I am. Um, but I feel good and I'm progressing nicely. Yeah, and obviously the next stage after that meeting with the consultant would be for him to give you the go ahead to to step up and start running. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping after seeing him, he'll be he'll be quite pleased with with how I've developed, and then hopefully within the next few weeks I'll be out jogging and really start pushing on, getting ready for the new season. And um, I know that it's not your place to say when you'll be ready, but when. Do you hope to be ready for active duty, as it were? Uh, I, ho I hope to be ready for, by the time the league season starts, I want to be sort of pretty close to being ready. Um, so I'm hoping for around August time, but it could be before that, it could be a bit after that. It's, it's hard to tell. But once I start really kicking on with the rehab and running and things like that, I'll, I'll get a better idea of where I'm at. But that's my sort of target around the start of the league season. Yeah. It's all dependent on what sort of reaction you get, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, that, like I said, it could be earlier, it could be a bit later. Yeah. Um, you had an eventful season last season. We all did here at Wraith Rovers, one of our most successful and enjoyable in, in many, many, many years, you know, uh, getting all the way to the playoffs. Was it frustrating for you being out injured towards the end there not to be participating in the games against Dunfermline and then Dundee in the playoffs? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, especially. I feel like I played quite a, a big role in the team. Played played most of the league games, and I was obviously that sort of all that hard work sort of geared up to playing in those big games in the playoffs. So I was gutted. I was gutted to get an injury at the time I did. Um, but like I said, it was still an enjoyable season. I I loved every minute of it. I had some great games that I was involved in, um, and I was still still in around here um, speaking to the boys, and I watched all the games, um, but I could only watch it on on Rafe TV or, or the Dundee or whatever but I still watched all the games and texting the boys the gaffer and that just saying what I can in terms of words of encouragement and whatnot. and I thought the, the boys gave everything really obviously we ended up falling short but I think it's just given us all um, an idea of the league and it's given some boys like myself more experience um, into this coming season to try and do one better. Yeah, uh, I mean, I know speaking as a Rover supporter myself, I know that the support in general, they really enjoyed watching you play, you know, Cam at the back, you chipped in with a few goals, whether that was from central defence or when you were covering uh, full back. Um, how important was it for you um, to get your future sorted um, for next season and sign on with the Rovers? Yeah, obviously the, um, the, the injury came out not a great time and I was I was obviously gutted to miss out on the end of the season um, but it was important to to get a contract signed and also just for the club to, to help me in terms of my rehab to get back to get back fit um, so yeah so that my head's just focused on trying to get back fit and get back in the team as soon as possible which hopefully will be near the start of the season so obviously um, a key factor in modern day football now is the changeover in players uh, whether you're at the end of a good, bad or indifferent season. Um, obviously, we've changed a lot of the playing staff. How much do you know about all these players that have arrived in the last week and the ones that signed pre-contracts during last season? Um, yeah, well, obviously, there's a, a few of the boys that obviously I played against the last season, so I, I was aware of them already. Um, obviously, the, the Gaffer and Smudge have obviously had a look and they, they're looking to improve the squad and want the squad to develop and kick on like the club has done since they've came and obviously the, these lads are coming in to help strengthen and improve the, the strength and depth of the squad. Good, right. And um, with the, the season coming up, uh, it's something we say to all new signings and, and guys that are staying, um, have you set yourself a target for next season? Do you think it's feasible for us to push on and go one better than last season or are you just taking it day by day? Uh, I think I think you got you with what we did last season. You've got to put it into perspective a bit. Um, obviously, 
um, we're all ambitious players and we'd want to be up there at the end of the season for sure that would be the target but um, depending on who you speak to some may say we overachieved I think if you spoke to the players internally we'd feel that we were definitely more than capable of doing what we did last season but from the outside looking in a team that's just got promoted you might not expect us to do what we did and play how we played last season but I think we've, we've got to aim high and definitely be aiming for top four and looking to at least match what we did last time or, or do one better. Yeah, and another big thing, um, a, a big feature of your time here so far is that you've still not played in front of any Rovers fans yeah. outside of the Rovers fans that work for and volunteer for the club. You must be looking forward to hearing a bit of noise uh, in the stands when you, next, when, when you take to the field for us. Yeah, no, definitely. I think um, there's been some games where fans would have just made it that bit more special the the 5-1 when we beat Dunfermline at home or even beating Dundee at home in the league and Hearts away those sort of games where like fans would have just made it there were special moments um, but they would have just been that bit more special if the fans were there um, and I'm definitely yeah definitely excited to, to play in front of the fans for the first time hopefully this season yeah, and finally looking at your prospective defensive colleagues for the new season, yeah. obviously Jamas stayed, um, pre-contract of Christoph Berra and a pre-contract signing of Tom Lang. You must be looking forward to playing beside hugely experienced internationalists and up-and-coming younger players like Tom Lang. Yeah, no, definitely. I think um, having these sort of players in the squad, especially Christoph, will you know be able to pass on a wealth of experience to someone like me. Um, same with Benny, still learning off him every day. Um, learned a lot playing with him last season. Um, and obviously Tom and um, Dave Mackay as well, it's all good competition. It's what what we need is strength and depth in the team uh, for the team to be successful. I mean, we, no team's going to go through the whole season without injuries. And um, the, the for a push that we want to do to, to do one better, it's going to take everyone. And it's, it's a team game, so not everyone's going to play every game unless you're Regan Tommy maybe or something like that yeah, but yeah. the um, the, the aim is just to strengthen the squad so obviously that's what the manager's done and now this competition for places great well we're all up for the new season it sounds like you and the rest of the players are um, best of luck with the rehab Frankie and we look forward to seeing you in action soon cheers thank you cheers.